The crystals Brink died for. The alien was right. This thing has already killed one of us, but it's back in place. And then we say, uh, yeah, sure, that one. And then what, we have to, I don't know if we have to do anything with these, but I'm going to. Actually, what about this console? It's a row of crystalline devices. Okay, it doesn't help me. Use this thing. I don't know how to work these controls. Oh, she's at the top. Oh, that's so I probably have to get her to do this, yes? Oh, water earth rock. I don't know what to there. do with this device. Hey McGaggy. You're the one who read the alien books. What exactly happens when we turn it on with enough life crystals in it? It would have taken me years to read everything, Boston. And I didn't understand half of what I read. But there's no doubt that this machine is dangerous. The alien warned us it might cost us more than we expected. What does that mean? It might mean that just turning on the machine might kill us. You mean he booby trapped uh -oh. the thing? I mean that the machine may draw on more than life crystals. It may drain the life out of whoever uses it. Then I'm running the controls. Don't be absurd. It might do nothing, too. Or it could kill whoever isn't at the controls. I just hmm. want to tell you. No goodbyes. We're gonna make it home together, Maggie. I'm not sentimental, Boston. I wasn't going to say goodbye. I just want you to promise me something. After you saw me break every promise I made to Brink, you want me to make another one to you? What happened with Brink couldn't be helped, Boston. I know you'll keep your word with me. What's the promise? If I die, and you live, don't use any life crystals on me. Don't revive me. Do you understand? Are you sure? I saw what Brink became. I don't want that to happen to me. You wouldn't be saving Maggie Robbins. You'd be creating a monster with my memories, my face. Don't do it. Promise me. I promise, Maggie. And vice versa, okay? All right. And now you tell me the truth about something, Maggie. Are you sure you didn't find out somewhere that something bad happens to the person at the controls of this machine? Boston, I don't know any more than you do about what will happen when I switch this thing on. If that's a lie, I'm gonna be really ticked off, Maggie. Yeah, I know. Here we go. Here we go. Is restored. Worth it then. Go home. Maggie. Maggie, you dumb dumb. You dumb dumb. I'm gonna save it here because I know there's two. There's kind of two paths. You can save it with the life crystals, or you can not. And uh, at the moment, I guess I'm going to choose to not.
and I'll come back and I'll, I'll reload and I'll do it again and I will save it with the life crystal which I can't remember if, if that makes I don't think it makes a huge difference just slight slight difference in the hello governor uh oh hello poo poo head I should have known the inventor would have one more trick up his sleeve. Huh? Oh, this. I'm sorry. You're a cutie. Can you swim? That was the inventor's last chance to stop me. I will get out into space time six. I will bring the people of this place back home. And they will build me a starship that will take me back to Earth. <laughs> okay. I guess this is the real test. Can a practical guy from Earth do what all the builders of this place failed to do? Can I go into space time six and still find my way back to reality? Only yeah, one sure. way to find out. What happens if I do this now? He's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. He's dead. She's dead. He's dead. Load a shuttle. Come in, Ken. <laughs> way out of range. Load a shuttle. Come in, Cora. Way out of range. She's dead. He's dead. She's dead. He's dead. She's dead. She's 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 dead. It's beautiful. A guy could get lost here really easy. No. How hell would you get out no, of No, I'm not going any farther into this place. I'm staying here, where I can get back out again. You are as strong as we hoped, human. I can understand you. In space-time six, all living minds communicate perfectly. You stand at the doorway, human. You show us all the pathway back to life. To reality. To a place where we will someday die, yes. But we will have a life before we die. Every past and future. I can see them all. But which one is real? Go back now, human. Take me home. Debt, Commander Lowe. All I want, now that my friends are dead, is to go back to Earth and tell the story of how they died. Why not let them tell their own story? I wish. You knew the way home, but I know all the other paths through time and space. Wait! Don't go back there! brought you a gift. Hmm. Brink looks Mac. so good. Brink. You're alive again. We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Maggie, I thought I'd lost you forever. So you really didn't try to resurrect me with the crystals? No, I... I promised you. And besides, what the crystals bring back from death, it wouldn't have been you. I know, Boston. You kept your word. And yet, you did find a way to bring me back from death. It wasn't me, but I'm glad you're here. And I'm free of the madness of the crystals, too. Yeah, good. You did it, though. He looks old. No, it was our friend here. No, the credit belongs to you. 
we once revered a great inventor because he opened the door to unchanging eternity. But you opened the passageway back into true life. All I am is a guy who wants to get back home. Already my people are preparing a great crystal starship to take you there. But we can come back, can't we? You and any others who wish to come. You are a young people, strong and full of hope and passion. We have much to teach you, and you have much to share with us as well. There will be friendship between our species forever. I hope you're right. Not all human beings are as, uh, nice as us. Oh, I know that. All young species are alike that way. But don't worry. If any of your people try to pick a fight, you'll mash them like bugs. Uh, How yeah. reassuring. The ship is almost ready. Go home and tell your people what has been accomplished here. Telling the people, that's Maggie's job. And getting us home, that was yours. You did it, Boston. Thank you, Boston. We all thank you, Boston Row. And bring Oops a bit better there. Oh, based on a concept by Steven Spielberg. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought this was originally going to be a movie, but then they decided to make it into the game. I don't think they had the sort of budget or something. So I thought, screw it, we'll just make it into a game instead. <laughs> hey, it looks nice. I mean, for the, the time, it actually did look really nice. I would love them to make a, an HD sort of um, remastering of this, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm going to keep, I'm going to wait, wait until the end of the credits, see if there's anything. If not, then I'll just play the second ending, which is more or less the same. Wait, sorry, five. Oh, oh, okay. Orchestral excerpt. Yeah, the music's great when it plays correctly, but oh, Scum System. Yeah, I'm playing on this on Scum VM, and I think it's kind of screwed up the music a little bit. It doesn't play the game perfectly, but hey. Oh, there it is, Robert Patrick. It really is Robert Patrick. I knew it. Like I said, I do. I do think it was originally meant to be a. Uh, <clears throat> it'd be a movie. Very special thanks to George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. The end. Nothing, nothing else at the end here? Let's see. No, just the Lucas Arts. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Hello. It's a bad idea. Good morning. Oh no. Low. I begged you. Fine. Whee! Ah! Oh man, do a backflip. That was good. Oh, we good. Let's get on with it. 
Now that's the first part, that's not the, uh, yeah, obviously not the ending, but... And we'll do all this part. Get rid of the beastie. I should have known the inventor would have one more trick up his sleeve. Hey, birdies. Don't go back there. I have brought you a gift. Maggie. Frank. You're alive again. We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Maggie. When you died, I... Man, I'm glad to see you. I don't know if I'm glad to see you, Boston. You broke your promise to me. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to go on without you. But you knew that what the crystals bring back isn't life. It wasn't me. But it's you now. Yes. Well, yes, it is. And I'm free of the madness of the crystals, too. You did it, Lord. All right, then. All good. So it's only just that little, that little bit different at the end there. He just gets a slap instead if you bring it back. But all's good in the end. All's happy. Everyone, everyone gets home. Everyone gets home, and I love. I do. I do enjoy this game. I still love this game. But it's a little, yeah, a little bit more frustrating when I haven't played it for so long and I have to look around to find stuff like this. that blue triangle crystal thing that I could have gone right up near the start but because I forgot where it was I spent a good portion of the game without it which I guess in the end is fine it's only one one, um, one use for it but that was in the tomb try and lock the tomb but if I had that I would would have progressed a bit quicker anyway Good game. Needs a remastering. Needs a hot HD remastering like they did with um, Day of the Tentacle. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. But anyway, that was uh, The Dig. With the T-1000, Robert Patrick in it. Did a good job. Was fun. The end. Goodbye. Uh, we don't need any more of this. Oh, escape doesn't do anything. Okay, F1 then. Bye bye. Oh, F9. And, uh, okay, this shit. Um, stop.